know about you guys i'm going crazy Hey peeps, my name is Leon, welcome to the vlog. If you're a creative person right now, quarantined away in your room, you're probably going crazy. Like, sure there are less jobs, but I have a ton of work to do. If it's technical, you just sit down and do it. There's no way around it. If it's creative and you need to be inspired, that's the hard part because a lot of the sources of inspiration that I got prior to this quarantine thing are no longer there, like nature and seeing people and watching others work and just seeing things that are out there now you're pretty much limited to what's online and you know you still have other creators you can watch but it's just not the same and so i figured i had to kind of jumpstart my inspiration and creativity by doing something creative regardless of whether i was inspired or not so this morning i just took my camera and started taking pictures of random things around my room and so this log's not scripted at all i'm just you know, going through what was in my head when I was taking those pictures. First thing is the subject, and regardless of what subject it is, maybe you have more or less inter interesting things in your room than I have in my room, but it really doesn't matter because every object has a story around it, and if you focus on that, you can make a good photograph because photograph is essentially a story in a frame. Once you do pick a subject, the next thing is lighting. You don't want these overhead lights, which are really ugly, so, if you turn off all the overhead light and use window light or natural light as much as you can, if, you, if it's nighttime or you don't have a window or you don't like window light, then get just lights that are on head level or below because they give an ambient glow from the side and they look a lot better, which is why I removed all my overhead lights in the first place and just got these little hanging things. Just gives a really nice atmosphere. The third thing is using different optical objects like glass or your computer screen or your mobile phone, which either reflect or refract light. It adds really interesting kind of decorations to the photo in camera. And don't forget, you probably have lights lying around, maybe Christmas lights or a spare phone that you're not using that you can use for like a flashlight. There are so many things that glow and shine which can really make or break a photo. And then obviously you want to match the scene to your object if it's technology, maybe you want something dark or some cool lighting. If it's something antique, maybe you want wood or like coarse textile, natural things. It really depends. You kind of play it out in your head or look at different examples. Taking pictures of photography gear never gets old. People do it all the time and every day there are thousands of photos which people drool over just looking at cool gear and the different kinds of cool photos you can take of it. You can always turn the lens around and do some macro shots because your room, I guarantee it, is full of thousands of different macro textures that you can take pictures of for a really abstract but awesome photo. Pretty much your room is an awesome playground for a photographer who's got a little bit more time in his hands. All of these exercises are really good. They help you find the different elements of composition. Look for repetition, look for symmetry, look for geometrical shapes. It just pushes your limit of what you can see and how you compose things in your head. And it's definitely gonna help you out there in the field once we are able to get out of this amazing situation. Food photography is always a good option. It always looks good, makes people hungry, and you can tell stories with it in very many different ways. People preparing it, people buying it, people eating it, um, different kind of locations. If you have a window or a balcony, you can step outside and maybe grab some details with a telephoto lens. These photos I took this morning, I did them in about five minutes just to kind of jumpstart my creativity for the day. But I imagine if I spent an hour or two taking some photos of things around my room, I'd be pretty surprised at what kind of cool things you could grab, especially if you play around with a couple lighting setups. I know it's a mundane vlog, guys. I'm sorry, it's a mundane time. Um, I should get out one of these days into nature. and Hopefully that will boost a little bit of my creative juices and get something new cooking for the next video. Hang in there. Thanks for watching this probably have nothing better to do anyway. <laughs> See you guys in the next video.